brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Hashtag kindness and respect. Online and in real life, it's important to be kind. Uh, friend me, tweet about it, Snapchat, pin interest it. Those are just catch those aren't just simply catchphrases anymore. They've really become the lingo of many of our youth and many of, of the students in our school. And most kids and even adults spend a significant amount of time using social media. October marks Bullying Prevention Month, this year's theme, promoting kindness and respect on social media. In a resolution presentation held earlier this week, Chief Justice Robert Torres says they'll continue to partner with the Department of Education to ensure students feel safe on campus and to educate them about being kind on social media too. For students, we want you to be an inspiration to your friends and be kind and respectful to them on social media. It's been six years since we've been working on this campaign together uh, to say no to bullying and really other forms of mistreatment in our schools and the judiciary of Guam remains steadfast in its commitment to continue to work with the Guam Department of Education, its private schools, the fellow branches of government and other community partners and stakeholders to prevent bullying. One of the ways they're combating bullying in the schools is with school resource officers. Although the program was temporarily suspended due to changes in federal policy, SROs will make their return to campuses shortly. Surveys conducted among students and staff show majority support having a SRO at schools and feel the SRO has reduced fights, threats, and bullying. Along with the SRO program, the judiciary has the Olveus Anti-Bullying Program, which has resulted in fewer incidents of bullying, cyberbullying, and sexting incidents on campus. Acting DOE Superintendent Joe Sanchez. You can't do well in school if you don't feel safe. And you're really the sad thing is, is sometimes there are students even today who go to school who don't, don't necessarily feel safe. And I think as a community, that's something that we need to address every single day and every single minute, whether it be just that one kid on the side who feels like he doesn't fit in, or if there's a group who so happened to be picking out somebody else, we need to step up. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.